The kidneys are part of the urinary system. The kidneys are the primary organs involved in the process of excretion. The two kidneys on either side of the backbone are connected to the two ureters that empty into the urinary bladder down below. The urethra is the tube at the bottom of the urinary bladder. The kidneys are bean-shaped, dark red, somewhat flattened, and located under the diaphragm near the back wall of the abdominal cavity. Each kidney weighs about 150 grams and is 10 centimeters long. The left kidney is slightly higher than the right kidney. A kidney consists of the renal sinus is a cavity where you can find fat, nerves, blood vessels, and the renal pelvis. The renal pelvis is a funnel-shaped part of the ureter that funnels urine flowing into the kidney. The ureter is a long tube that moves urine to the urinary bladder from the kidney. The outer renal cortex is an outer portion of the kidney between the medulla and the renal capsule. The inner medulla is the innermost part of the kidney, divided into renal pyramids. The renal pyramids are cone-shaped structures of the kidney that have a striped appearance due to being made up of the nephrons loops of Henle. A nephron is the functional unit of a kidney. The name comes from the Greek nephros, which stands for kidney. Nephrons are very small filters. Millions are tightly packed together. Part of the nephron is in the cortex of the kidney, and part of it is in the medulla. Nephrons are about 4 centimeters long. The renal corpuscle is made up of a cluster of capillaries named the glomerulus, and a sac-like structure called the Bowman's capsule around the glomerulus. The renal tubule is the other part of the nephron that starts at the Bowman's capsule and ends at ducts of the kidney. It is made up of three parts, the proximal convoluted tubule, the part by the Bowman's capsule, which is why it's called proximal in the cortex of the kidney, the loop of Henle in the renal medulla, and descending and then ascending limb and the distal convoluted tubule named because it's far from Bauman's capsule and empties into the collecting duct located in the cortex of the kidney. The collecting duct is where many nephrons drain into. It is in the medulla of the kidney. Many collecting ducts drain into the renal pelvis, which drains into the ureter. An afferent vessel brings blood into the glomerulus. An efferent vessel takes blood out of the glomerulus. Glomerulus comes from the Latin glomeris, meaning ball of yarn. The gl glomerulus is a ball of capillaries between afferent and afferent vessel. The ball increases the surface area for filtration into the Bauman's capsule. Urine is formed in the nephron from glomerular filtrate. Kidneys filter metabolic waste out of blood and remove water. This allows the urinary system to regulate composition of fluids, including salts, water, and waste. The kidneys also regulate blood pressure and maintain pH. The kidneys process more than 200 liters of blood a day. Thin wall capillaries run the entire length of the nephron. They bring in blood with metabolic waste. The renal artery, a branch of the aorta, brings in unfiltered blood into the kidney. Filtered blood leaves via the renal vein. Urine is formed through filtration, reabsorption, secretion, and excretion. Items which are not filtered are proteins and red blood cells. Waste, including uric acid and urea, is removed from blood in the glomerulus. 
Reabsorption occurs of some substances such as salts, excess water, amino acids, and glucose that are filtered together with nitrogenous waste that are needed by the body. Reabsorption occurs along proximal convoluted tubule of the nephron into the peritubular capillaries and back into circulation. More reabsorption happens in the loop of Henle for things such as magnesium, calcium, potassium, and sodium. This is made possible by aquaporins. Secretion occurs when reabsorbed waste is secreted into the blood from urine flowing through the tubes of the nephron. Secretion occurs when waste that did not get filtered goes from capillaries into the proximal and distal convoluted tubule and becomes urine. Substances secreted include urea, creatine, uric acid, hydrogen, ammonium, and potassium ions.